Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about one of the function which is part of the Power Query called as Extract. Now, there is a lot of misconception among people wherein they think that a lot of things can be done only through DAX and very minimal things can be done through Power Query. But please be informed that Power Query is very powerful uh, feature which is part of the BI. So uh, let us quickly jump through that and understand how and what we can do using this extract function. Now, if you go to the, power, click on, you can go to Power Query by clicking on these three ellipses and click on Edit Query. So you will land up on the Power Query Editor page. So in the sample data set that I have over here, I have name and I have email. Now from this data, I would like to extract the first name and last name of the person and I would also like to extract the service provider of the email which the person is using. For example, in this case, I can see there is Gmail, there is Yahoo and there is Hotmail, etc. So I want to know who is using which domain of the email, right? So let's get started with this tutorial. So how we can do is that, uh, so if you go to the transform tab, there is something called as extract feature over here. Let me just maximize this so that you can see this better. Uh, on the transform tab, there is an extract uh, function here, which, which gives you a range of things uh, which you can select from based on your requirement. However, one thing to note here is that when you do this from the transform tab, um, what will happen is, let us say if I select this column and go to the extract feature here and select length, I, I want to know the length of that particular uh, column. So when I click on this, so the actual column gets replaced with the values, which is the length of that particular uh, row over here. So in case you don't want that, but you want an additional column or a new column to get added to the BI, what you have to do is you need to go to the add column tab. And under this, you will see the same extract option with the same number of drop down that is available for you to select from. So let's go through this one by one and understand how this can help us. So the first thing is, let us say you want to know how many characters are there in the name. So you can simply click on length and you will get a new column added here indicating that the first name Anita letter back here has 16 characters. Likewise, over here, BMI has eight characters, right? So this is the first feature which is available in BI under the Power Query editor with just a click of a button without you having to write the entire DAX will give you the result of that particular column okay now let's quickly jump through the second one over here so it has first characters so if i click on this we'll get a dialog box here asking us how many characters do you want so basically let us say i need five characters the first five characters of that particular column so when i click on okay a new column will get added giving me the first five characters of that particular name Okay, likewise, if I go to the uh, extract again, there is last characters. You can again enter the characters from the right side. Let's say again, if I say five characters, this is going to give me the five characters from the right hand side. So if you see here, uh, letter back, we've got the last five characters over here. And if you see here, uh, blue, that is sky blue over here, his name is. So we've got the last five letters from his name. Okay, so let's quickly jump to the next one over here. This is called as range. So if we click on this, what happens is that this is asking us to enter uh, two different arguments or conditions here. So one is it's asking us to enter the starting index and it's asking us to enter the number of characters you want. So in Power BI, the indexing starts from zero, one, two, three. For example, if you need the first name from the particular, the first row over here, which is Anita, right so you will have to enter the starting index as zero and then let's say uh, the next five letters so i'm gonna enter five here and click on okay so you will see the first five letters we've got here from the first letter likewise if you if you select starting index as one which works in excel and other stuff you will get the letters starting from N. So please keep that in mind when you're working with BI, the indexing starts from 0, 1, 2, 3. So basically A is 0, N is 1, I is 2, etc. Okay. And then let's go jump to the next one over here. And this is text before delimiter. So for to explain this, let me just get on to the email uh, thing and explain you how this works. Text before delimiter. Let's say you want to identify 
the first name and the last name. You're creating two columns here to identify first name and the last name. So I'm gonna select text before delimiter and then my delimiter here to identify the first name is underscore. So I'm gonna type in underscore here because if you see here, all my first names are before underscore, okay? And there are advanced options as well, which tells you from where the input needs to start, etc. If you have any such uh, conditions, you can enter over here. So delimiter is going to be underscore. I'm going to click on OK. So if you see here, I've got my first condition and then you can simply right click over here, rename the particular column and call this as first name. Okay, you can say this as first name. Now let's go to the next one over here, which is text after delimiter. So basically, uh, if I enter underscore here and click on OK, I will get all the uh, characters after my delimiter which is underscore over here however it is not going to help us in identifying the last name of that particular person so in that case the next one comes in handy which says text between delimiters so i'm going to click on this so my start delimiter here is going to be underscore and my end delimiter here is going to be add so if you look at this so we've got start underscore and add and the between characters between these two delimiters is going to be my last name. So I'm going to use this as start delimiter underscore and end, limit, end delimiter at and then I'm going to click on OK. So here if you see I've now got the last names of everybody. I can simply right click rename and call this as last name and last name. Okay. And now let us say if you want to identify the domain name, right? So you can simply again go back here to extract text between delimiters at and then end delimiter is dot and click on OK and then you will get your uh, domain name. So we've got Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, Microsoft, etc. So without using DAX, you are able to extract a lot of information from the column details that you have, for example, identifying first name, last name, uh, email, etc. So there's a lot more things that you can do using the simple extract function without you having to go through and write a lot of DAX. So please be informed that Power Query is a very powerful tool and you can use the Power Query in a lot of instances other than just using the DAX, right? So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.